and greetings from the Capitol. It has been a very busy time recently around here. We've had several policy deadlines, which means we have to get a bunch of these bills in now if they're going to be considered for the rest of the session. So that has everybody in a big scramble to hear a bunch of bills and get a bunch of bills presented, and it's been no exception in my world. Um, I'm really excited because I've had a few bills that have been of interest in our district. Um, there was one bill that provided um, strong, stronger penalties for people who intentionally um, place false 911 emergency calls. And the problem there is it puts people and law enforcement at um, real risk. And so that one came after an incident in Oakdale and I was really honored to be able to carry that bill and work with local law enforcement to, to get that through. And so we're watching how that develops. And then we also have presented a very recently a bill that is a, a redevelopment uh, tax increment financing bill for Maplewood that would work with 3M. And it would redevelop in that area for Maplewood and 3M. And 3M has some really ambitious plans with their new R&D building that was announced last fall and um, a real commitment to the area which is great for everybody in the East Metro in our district so I'm excited about that as well and then there have just been lots of other bills for education and transportation um, we've passed what they call the omnibus bills which are a bunch of policies um, for some exciting changes and I think we're gonna see some some really great things coming out of this session and I'll keep you posted on that um, the other things that have gone on that I think have been interesting speaking of education we've had an opportunity to do some really great bipartisan work. Um, there was an issue surrounding um, basic skills tests for teachers. Those were implemented a couple of years ago and there have been some questions about how effective they are and are they doing the right job or are we keeping some really qualified teachers out of the classroom. And so there's some serious questions that have come up and we came up with a really great bipartisan solution and I was happy to be a part of that because we want to have great qualified teachers teaching our kids and I'm excited about that. Um, the other thing that has been going on um, that I'm excited about is this new Purple Caucus, and I'm a part of that. We had our first meeting this morning, um, a bunch of legislators from around the state representing both parties really starting to come together and build the relationships and have the conversations because we all know that we really want what's best for Minnesota and we have to be able to work together to do that. And um, I think it's a great way to set the stage for the second half of the session. We're going to go on break next week, which means I'll be spending a lot more time in the district. So I will be meeting with people throughout Woodbury and Maplewood and Oakdale and I look forward to seeing people. And then we'll be back in session the following week and I'll have some more news then. So thank you for watching and see you in a couple weeks.